Welcome to the digital transformation, to translating IT into profit. I am Thorsten Jekyll. And what I am currently seeing is that a lot of companies are thinking afterwards and not thinking ahead. And I'm seeing a lot of managers asking the wrong questions. Leading to the situation where many companies are using technology as if they were driving with a 911 Porsche on the right lane of the autobahn and just with uh, 40 miles an hour, being overtaken by lorries. So the issue is speed up with digital transformation. And the idea is to translate IT into profit. What's my take on the subject? So what is my background? What is my um, legitimation to talk about this subject to you and to your audience? It already started when I was very little. And um, I, even at that time, I didn't fit into a box um, or in a shelf. And what you see behind me is one of my first electronic gadgets. I love to play with all the technical stuff and some of the gadgets were a bit bigger and some of the gadgets were smaller. And you probably also remember some of those tools and I think I was one of the first ones to use Nokia communicators to use the Palm even management meetings where I had those flip on and flip out um, keyboards where I was working in management meetings. So I always loved those uh, technical gadgets, but I always asked myself the question, how to work productive with IT? And that started already in 1988 when I joined Nixtoff Computer and uh, then following the years afterwards when I was working in electronic cash projects like providing electronic cash terms to MediaMarkt, working in private label card projects like rollout of the Douglas customer private label card, like with Chibo Coffee Service where I was in charge of the vending business and then customer service and in part for IT projects, especially integrating the Edusho and the Chibo systems and in implementing customer relationship management systems. Then from 2000 to 2010, I was in charge as a managing director of one of the leading fruit juice companies uh, for the food service industry. The last three years, I was um, also in charge for the whole European business, including the responsibility for 13 European vendors. Since 2010, I am helping people like Ulrich Nehammer, the former CEO of Coca-Cola in Germany, to be more productive with mobile and other intelligent and smart IT systems. So the target in this project, for example, was how can we reduce the lead time um, between selling a fridge until getting the fridge to a customer from four weeks to 24 hours. And by the smart use of technology, we were able to, number one, achieve this goal, number two, to increase sales productivity by more than 20%. And this is smart use of IT to be more productive, to use IT that it can make you more productive and or to help you to sell more. So this is leading to my major thesis in terms of technology um, and what technology is and what technology is not. Number one, digital transformation is not a question of technology, but it's a question of leadership. I see a lot of buzz going around and buzzwords and a lot of talks about new technology, new trends, which are extremely important. Yes, but it's more important, the bigger leverage is on the management side to say, how can I translate all those technologies, all those trends really into my daily business today? Number two, digital transformation does not mean to reinvent everything, but in the first step, to transform a working business to the digital world. And of course, to build new opportunities. So the most important thing is really to switch on brain first and then technology. Unfortunately, most of the people do it the other way around. So number one is to see which technological trends do we have, then which of those are responsible uh, for probably improving our business or even making new business models uh, possible. But switch on brain first 
and then technology. What are the topics I'm speaking about? I'm speaking on digital transformation, on how businesses can stay relevant and competitive in today's new digital era. I'm speaking on how Coca-Cola became 20% more productive in sales and how you can apply this to your sales force. And finally, I'm talking about from digital frustration to digital salvation. So how to make your life easier with technology. Because those are the three main questions uh, which I think are important when we talk about technology. Number one, how to be relevant and more competitive. Number two, how to sell more. Number three, how to have an easier life. In which formats can I support your next event? Number one, as a closing keynote speaker. Why closing keynote? Number one, when you're looking into those conference formats, First thing is setting the scene, opening the space, showing trends and visions. And then you see examples and at the end, what uh, should be at every event, that you see what are my key takeaways which I can really integrate into my business. And this is coming from my background and also my flexibility in those formats. Uh, I'm very strong at closing your events, uh, pulling together all those open ends uh, which the others um, are giving and then pulling that together to really a consistent picture where people say afterwards, that was really a great event where I got great inspiration, great examples and a final speaker that was able to translate that into my business context and to help me to go the first steps. Talking about going the first steps, also I'm available for workshops during, before and after events to translate inspiration into action. And this, of course, also with pre and post conference webinars or virtual speaking um, as conferences are getting more and more international. And even when you have a face to face meeting, a face to face conference, um, I have learned that pre conference webinars and um, after post conference uh, webinars are really very helpful to have a better preparation and to have a more sustainable format afterwards that the messages are sticking and are transformed. Next thing is of course training consulting. So based on my professional working experience up to being a managing director and my consulting practice practice over the past six years, I can help you to implement all those ideas into your organization as a trainer and as a consultant and coach. Special format of coaching is the format of an external chief digital officer. Uh, so I'm helping CEOs, I'm helping managing directors, I'm helping entrepreneurs um, to think about how can we use technology and how can we relink strategy and technology and how can we relink management and IT again. Because what I see that there's often a missing link um, between strategy and IT and I often see a missing link between IT and management and I think it's really important to close this gap and this is something which I can support based on my management experience and based on my consulting and project experience. That's of course in German and English, you already hear my English. I'm not a native speaker, but as I was working for a British company for some years and 10 years for an American company, um, at least I can communicate properly in English and I think most of the audience uh, should be uh, able to understand me and uh, so that we can communicate in German and in English. Where is the best fit for which speaker? I'm Every now and then I'm getting asked to say there are several speakers in, in your era. Who are the best speakers for which step of a conference or of for which phase we are in as a company? So, and I put together a speaker portfolio for you. And I would like to divide it between young spirit and um, the, between experience. And I would also love uh, to distinguish between ideas and between application. So the question is when you need somebody who is a really a young uh, giver of ideas of spirit here, I can highly recommend Christoph Burkhardt. Living in Silicon Valley, being really on top of San Francisco, Silicon Valley life, a very young, inspiring guy. When you want to have a more experienced speaker on innovation, I can highly recommend Gary Dunz. Uh, with a lot of working experience in the digital world and in the analog world and bringing together the both uh, best parts of both worlds. 
looking into young spirit who is more into practical application, I can recommend Tim Schrader, for example, who already made videos and TV series for, for kids. And then finally, when you're looking into speakers that have a lot of project and own managerial experience, I can I recommend Colin Kroom, mainly in the area of Facebook marketing, internet marketing um, and uh, agency marketing um, and myself on digital transformation. So where we both have a lot of project experience and also own managerial experience. So you see for every phase of an event or every phase of uh, level and, and stage you are as a company, uh, there there are different speakers uh, which are fitting. So when you are planning your next event on digital transformation, I am very much looking forward to talking to you on how I can help you to make this a real successful event. Yours, Thorsten Jekyll.